getting started and making your first deposit. When making your first deposit, you've got two different methods that you can use, fiat, paper money, or with cryptocurrency. We can go to the menu in the top right hand corner, click deposit, and trying to deposit fiat, we've got many different options that you can choose from. Scroll down the list of currency until you find your currency of choice. As I'm in England, I'd choose British pounds. I can then select either the Australia account or the Indonesia account. There are new account details for different countries coming soon, so please do keep checking. You can then use it nice and easily by clicking this button here, which is a clipboard function. And you can copy the data and paste it into your online banking. Remember, you're doing an international wire transfer. I personally use the Indonesia account because the account number is made up of just numbers. On the Australia account, there are letters and numbers, which don't work with every online banking, so choose accordingly. When copying the data, do make sure you're accurate with it because it's important you get all of it correct. But one thing to take careful note of is this, the payment reference. This is what we call your holder identification number or KM number. And this is how our payment team will allocate it to your personal trading account. So copy all of that, use this as your payment reference. And then once you've sent the deposit over, it will normally take, we say three to five working days. However, it's frequently much quicker. Now let's look at doing a cryptocurrency deposit. Underneath dashboard, we have the assets tab. And from here, you can select from any one of the different currencies that we host. Let's say I wanted to deposit USDC. I can click here and we see the options tab listed just below. From here, if I was trying to deposit from another platform or wallet where my USDC is currently, I can click receive and we have our account address here. This is kind of like your bank account address. So I can copy it or send it via email. And then if I want to send it from that wallet, let's imagine I'm on the other side now, I would click send. Then I can include the address that I found by clicking receive. In the reference, you might want to say something like my first deposit. So you have a reference when you are looking back at transactions at a later date. And then once you click send, it will arrive fairly quickly. So just keep checking and it will appear on the dashboard and be reflected in the pie chart or in the list format here. So again, we'll go asset, choose the currency that you're after. You can then choose the options tab, click receive, find your address, copy it, and then you're going to send by popping it in the address function. Write the reference, next, send, and then you'll see your currency arrive on the Kinesis Monetary System shortly after. And that's how you deposit with cryptocurrency or with fiat. Thanks for watching.